Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool and another cool tool alert. Uh, this time it's the uh, Klein Tools Digital Circuit Breaker Finder. Um, this is a two-part tool that has a uh, transmitter basically and a receiver. This is the receiver. Um, I like the way it's designed as if you really have to hang on to this thing tight. Um, but this thing will be uh, moved up and down your um, breaker panel in order to locate a very specific circuit. Um, and that would be the circuit that has this plugged into it. Um, in addition to being a transmitter uh, through the, the electrical circuit, this also is a GFCI tester. So it does provide a handful of um, kind of common problems that people have in, in wiring outlets. And it tells you uh, according to the, the way this lights up, tells you what the potential problem might be. And it also has a trip switch here, which allows you to fire the, um, or trip the GFCI um, uh, circuit or uh, outlet in order to test it. Um, and I've discovered that many times when those GFCIs pop, they you know, shut down the whole line of outlets. So I uh, need to know if there's one going bad because sometimes uh, an appliance won't work after something's been tripped and I don't notice um, where, it's, where the actual trip is located, but I notice the thing I'm trying to use doesn't work anymore. But anyway, um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be plugging this into an outlet that is controlled by this, or is controlling this light that you see. Um, in the old days, I used to use either walkie-talkies or, you know, if I didn't have anybody to help me, I might run an extension cord from an, a particular outlet, uh, you know, up the stairs, around corners or whatever, to some light or something that um, would give me an indicator uh, if I'm tripping the correct circuit. And sometimes, you know, I might have to flip all kinds of them, which, of course, sets all the clocks and computers shut down and, you know, it's a mess. Um, this system really simplifies it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is first plug this into the outlet that's uh, powering that light over there and then show you how this operates in order to tell me exactly which breaker is powering exactly which outlet. So, I've just plugged it in and then I'm gonna power up this um, needs to be powered up after, uh, after the outlet um, transmitter is plugged in. Um, and if you're clicking the breaker on and off, you need to reset this each time. But once I've got it on, and by the way, let me take a moment here. This is not a, um, this part here is um, a not, is, does not test for active electrical power. Um, you know, these are kind of, kind of non-contact voltage sensors. So basically, you can see as I put this close to something, this tells me whether or not it's live. This does not do that. So we don't want to assume that even though this kind of looks similar, you know, in the, per, in the operation, it, that it actually will tell me if there's actual live voltage going through it. It's a separate tool. So I've turned it on. And then what I'm gonna do is slowly move it down past all the breakers. So it's learning, I guess. Um, maybe how much is how much of a signal is being transmitted. So here's the next step. So now I'm moving it around, noticing if there's any change. Picked up something there, so I'll go back down. Okay, this one, it thinks this breaker right here is the one operating that circuit. So let's try it. Uh, light went out. Maybe I'll move out of the way here. How about that? So there it works. Now, it's still holding it. It's not as strong a signal. Why? Because I shut off the power to my transmitter. So I'm going to restart this. I'm 
go through the procedure. Okay, there it picked it up. Go down again. Right there. Let's try it. Just like that. So, that's how this works. It's a, uh, uh, an excellent tool to have handy if you play around with the breakers at all. And this one costs about uh, $40 actually at my local big box. Um, this is the ET310. And if you just buy a standard, um, say a, a standard GFCI tester, and these don't even have the, uh, the trip switches on them, so they don't actually allow you to click a button and, and fire the, the um, or basically short out the GFCI to test it. Uh, and these run anywhere from about 10 bucks to 20 bucks, depending on the features and brand. This is 40 bucks uh, for the whole thing. And you get um, and you get this guy with it. So uh, it's definitely worth um, investing a few more dollars and getting a tool like this. In fact, I was thinking that you could rent it to your neighbor for five bucks, you know, and and uh, probably have this tool earning you money. But anyway, that's my cool tool alert: uh, the Klein Tools ET310 Digital Circuit Breaker Finder Transmitter and Receiver. Hope this helps. Doc out.